Hey guys, and welcome back to Drago Vichia. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to go do some stuff, so I had to stop recording, but now I'm back, and we can get on with this. Uh, Drago Vichia, we've managed to uh, obviously grow a bit. We haven't grown for a while since uh, High Chief Gleb came into the world. Uh, he's ill right now, so I'm slightly worried. Um, yeah, we're not in a good position. We really need him to get better and have a baby. Come on, give him a baby. There's nothing that should stop her. Yep, content doesn't stop anything. Come on, give him a baby. And also give him quick. That would be great. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm just trying to think about who do I want to use my subjugation CB upon? Because we can basically just subjugate anyone and take a massive amount of land. Like I was looking at Poland and Siberia. That would allow us to get one of the holy sites and also get a massive amount of land. So that'd be very useful. Absolute tribalization law. Okay. So that would be perfect. But we'll have to wait and see. Ducal claims uh, tiles can be created. We can create the kingdom of Poland, but I don't think we have enough gold. We've almost got enough prestige, though, to be able to call soldiers. Uh, not many soldiers right now. The uh, factions are starting to come back again. Why isn't your ill trait going, god damn you? Okay, raise tribal army. Yeah, at the moment we're fighting Slovenia, but not really. Dangerous factions. Okay, here they are. Is there anything I can give you then? Designated regent. No way, I'm not designating you my regent. You're terrible. You might be good. How about you then? Nah, he's better still. And you, he would be good to designate as the regent. Him or him? They both have won. Let's look at the things then. Cruel, cynical, and humble. Uh, he's kind, so we'll give it to him. Just in case we need a regent. Make him a bit more happy, I guess. Uh, hopefully those factions don't keep increasing. That's going to hurt us. You are in training troops. They just need to be like one more person to join them, and there could be a fawn in my side. And we still haven't got rid of the bloody ill. What the hell is going on? Does that decrease your fertility? Yeah, it does, 10%. You have to get rid of that. Come on. Come on, Gleb. We've got so far. We've worked so long to get to this point. You can't throw it all away. You can't. You can't just throw it away. Okay, we've got Turkestan over here. God damn, I want time to go by. I just want us to be secure. Okay, now we have a problem. These guys have now got a little band together. Venerable Elder, take that. And for you, sir, you, you keep getting factions. I'm going to have to send you a gift. You know? We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to keep him happy. There you go. Sadly, it's 20 gold I've lost, but... Yeah. Still nowhere near to get 140 again. Still, it's 102%. Why won't you leave this damn faction? You like me 41. Like I say, I, I'm okay about lowering the thing, though, so I guess it's not too big a deal. Is the other one independence? Yeah, that one's the one we should worry about. Are you kidding me? You've been ill for like six months. I tend to let female thieves and bandits get away with lighter sentences than men. I might condemn a woman to a few months in prison while a man might get one of his hands chopped off. It's how it should be, of course. Of course, I mean. Ah, she seems upset with my arbitrary nature. I'm sorry. For God's sake, stop being ill. When do you become of age? 21st of December. Okay, we can marry her off as well. She can give us a kid. Hopefully we can get a matrilineal. Okay, there we go. She's a fortune builder. She's got a fight in there. Matrilineal. Now, we're not going to get any good alliances, probably. Ooh, King of Poland. But I don't want to be allied with the King of... Ooh. King Tobias. We need someone now, actually. That's another thing. He might be good. Prince of Bulgaria. Claim on Bulgaria. 
Because we need someone who's old enough. High Chief of Pomeralia. He could be good. He's young. He's probably fertile. <laughs> he's young. He's fertile. Pomeralia. Hmm. Yeah, I might just go with that young one I saw at the top. I'm going to go with him, I think. There's some bastards here. One does have quick, but... I'm not too bothered about the stats for this one. I just want to get her married just so she can make some extra babies. There's a dwarf there. Let's give it to you. And you'd be a good fighter as well. You could fight for us. So here you go. Now we just need one of you to have a bloody baby. And you to stop being bloody ill. No one ever does anything I want. It's like it's like the game's against me. God. Okay. Are you kidding me? You're still freaking out. Okay, now you two need to go and make some babies. As quick as possible. I'm assuming that her children will count uh, to be heirs. And these guys, what is wrong with these people? Why can't you understand that I don't want you to rebel? Why don't they understand this? These people never understand me. And we have Saxony now. We have a Norse Saxony. Okay. Umeads uh, still in revolt. How about that Catholic uprising? Uh, Catholic uprising. 99% in favor of the Catholics. Oh my, that is, that'd be awesome. I really want to see that happen. Please don't freaking die. If you die, I'm going to kill you. I, I swear it. I swear it, Gleb. I will bloody kill you if you die. Yeah. In case you didn't know I was being ironic or sarcastic. Whatever. Who cares? Let's increase the time then. We just need babies. Oh my god, Severia. They are becoming a monster. He is just eating at the Magyars. Poor Magyars. They just, they just want to move into Hungary. They just want to form Hungary. My half-sister. Perfect. Okay, now you need to marry Matrilene as well. <laughs> we need to get a bloody dynasty going. A proper dynasty. And we can't wait. This guy could be okay. Uh, that guy would be better. This guy, no. This guy, nope. This guy, nope. This guy, nope. Uh, this one is actually quick. I, I might pick him for my second sister then. Yeah. How about you then? We lose one minus one hundred for marrying a relative of the chief. Hmm. Do you know what? Do it. I don't care. I'll lose it. Okay, now one person. Just to have a baby. <laughs> One of you. And can you stop being ill? You've been ill for a year now. Jesus. This whole like last 10 years. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh my God. The fever has gone and my nose is dry. The headache is long gone. And I feel alive once again. Now you can make a baby. Come on. Do it. Do it for all of us. He seems to have lost some traits. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. See, two of them like me. No, three of them like me. No, most of them like me. Partially. So, why are they still rebelling? Where are these Catholics? Come on, Catholics. It's not, it's not that I don't like Muslims. <laughs> and I support Catholics. It's that uh, I just like to see different things happen. And we have Rufania. He's created the kingdom. Damn him. There's 2,000 men. Huh. How much money and prestige do you have? Lots of prestige. Jesus. He could raise thousands of armies. We're never going to get Kiev. <laughs> we are never actually going to get Kiev. 
I could get this one. Yeah, I could just subjugate him. Wait, Norway? Does he have land in Norway? Yes, Pomerania has land in Norway. Okay. Yeah, I could take that holy site from him. So we still have a possibility. We're going to keep his subjugation for um, an important time. You're Slavic, yes? Yes, he is. We're going to have to make him an ally. Only I could have married into his family. But yeah, I'm bloody actually, I'm really worried about him. We're going to have to wait until he goes to war, maybe. Subjugation of Russ. He's attacking, he's attacking this guy. And he'll be right on my border. Jesus. Okay, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble now. Huh. Hopefully he'll die and his realm splits up. He has two sons. And his heir is someone else in the family. That's even better. That's good. But he's 42 years old. We need him to die. And I'm a kind soul. Arbitrary and gregarious. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, it's gone down. So I've gained a few more men. The annoying thing is it's quite similar to my colour, which upsets me. That upsets me. Let's see. 4,000 men. What? How did this happen? How come everyone around me is growing? I could just subjugate Poland. That would be excellent. And we would gain the king of Poland, I guess. I guess we'd gain the title, I think, if we do that. It would be so worth it. We'll see. I just need... I'm not going to go to war until we have a kid. I'm sorry. I know you guys are probably screaming and going, What the hell are you doing? Attack them. Grow. But I'm not risking it. I, you know, we've got these bloody factions going on. I want a baby. Finally. Mm, yes. Things are finally coming up Millhouse. Things are finally going our way. I'm a prisoner still. What you, you've been in prison for 20 years. You silly. Ah, oh, here you go. <laughs> I completely forgot about her. Of course we'll send her back to you. Thank you for the 10 gold. A large merchant caravan from a distant land has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Well, I'm kind, so very well let them in. And Eve, as evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second servant. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Ah, <sighs> Hindustan. Looks the same as normal. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant ceases on leaving you a gift, a gift, as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a tears command in a foreign language, and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master shall be beyond reproach. Oh, we'll accept the gifts, I guess. Let's all look then. I guess he'd be at the bottom, yep. Aglav. Okay, he seems okay. <laughs> um, this guy's actually the best. I'm going to point him. Um, if I get claims. Prove relations. Go to Pluck. And yeah. Yeah, claim on that. So we can just take Pomer. Oh, I'd want to take. I'd want to claim this because you just want this. And I'll subjugate Pomer. Okay, we'll change that in a second. This guy's 22, but this guy's one of my vassals. I want to keep him happy. So I'm not going to change that right now. Uh, this one's 30, my wife. Yeah, we'll get my wife it. Actually, no. She's pregnant. We don't want her to get hurt. We'll leave it. But let's put wrong. And time's actually passing by. Uh, okay, efforts. We've got 1,200 soldiers. Have joined us thanks to hearing about my legends. But this guy's going to be a problem. 10,000 men. Are you actually kidding me? He has 10,000 men. Oh my god. 
Torov. We don't have Torov, okay. Uh, I just don't know if he, if he can attack me or not. I wish I could know if he has a Cassie Belly against me. I'm assuming he, he might have a Conquest. Let's look. If, if I click on him, if I have a Conquest, he does. No, he does not. Perfect. But if I take Novgorod, he probably will have a Conquest against me. But that's just a Conquest. Okay, he's five. okay, we can't attack Mary. He's become too strong, it looks like. 5,000 men. My dangerous factions as well. No, we would not accept vassalization. Hmm. I might just subjugate Poland. Do you know what? I might just take the whole of Poland. I, I didn't want to because then I'll get the Kingdom of Poland, but if we if we attack him now, he only has 1,000 men, we could defeat him. we get all that land, and that's probably not too bad, that land. Right, I'm going to think. Any allies? Six allies. Oh, Jesus, he's allied with Ruthenia. Okay, I'm not attacking you, Poland. <laughs> I'm not attacking you. God damn it. Yeah, we're in a pretty bad spot. We're now trapped by Poland and Ruthenia. I need to ally with Ruthenia. But I have no children and no relatives. We can only attack people next to us. Hmm, is there anyone we can attack for 1,200 men? Okay, we could, we could just attack him, I guess. He's four allies. Uh, Pufania, actually, they'd get... Nah, that's not good. Livonia. No allies. Perfect. 500 men. Perfect. No subjugation. We could just take this, I guess. Uh, we could defeat him with this man. So we're just going to move them up. We're going to move them straight up there. They could take that. Prufania, them are allied, so we're going to keep them to themselves for now. Kingdom of Denmark right there. It's a chiefdom. No. He's, he's also allied with Prufania. <coughs> ah, I apologize. So that's probably our best choice right now. Yeah, we might as well just grow in that way. Come on, wife. Give me a bloody son. <coughs> oh, I'm really sorry. Keep sneezing. Court chaplain. Uh, I don't want to put my wife, is it? Just build zeal for now. 